I love duffel coats. There's absolutely nothing as comfortable as a duffel coat. Surprising because they can be sort of open and yet they're still warm. The pockets are in exactly the right place to just stick your hands in them, especially when you've got phones and all that sort of stuff these days. It's such an incredibly well thought out, simple garment. Uh, originally, I think the first we saw them was for the British Navy. Uh, you'll see sort of captains and admirals on battleships wearing them with a big uh, polar neck white uh, sort of mariner's jersey. But there's different makers, um, and for me, <laughs> the only maker, if I'm going to own a duffel coat myself, and I think I've got three, this make, uh, Glover All, is just head and shoulders above all the others. Now suddenly, duffel coats have become incredibly fashionable, uh, and so people like Ralph Lauren, and I think Yves Saint Laurent, making duffel coats. Guarantee, if it's fashion people making them, they're going to be rubbish. They're not going to stand up. I mean, I've seen duffel coats from fashion companies like uh, Laura Ashley and, and Monsoon and people, and they, you just wouldn't wear them on a battleship. But these Glover All coats are absolutely fabulous, as long as they continue to make them like this. Now, uh, they've nicked a lot of things from different people. Uh, the, the fabric, I think, it's the reason they're called duffel coats. There's a town in Belgium that used to make the fabric. It's called Dufel. I think I'm right on that. These toggles, I think we nicked this from China. Uh, on Chinese garments, they had a, a sort of lot in shape fastening that worked like this duffel coat. Uh, I don't know if it's come from anywhere else, but um, uh, it's such a fantastic garment. There's a lot of adjustment in the hood. You can actually bring it down close to your scalp if you're really seriously cold. Never actually used that. It's got a piece of elastic in it as well. Now. There are duffel coats from other manufacturers, as I've said, and there's two or three manufacturers that claim to have made the original duffel coat and tend to be the, the, the governors, but I see an awful lot, and I've worn a lot of these. Only Gloverall ones. And I think this company's, I mean, I, I might be wrong, it might be as big as Burberry soon, because they've started making a lot of other garments. They do a wax... Uh, short duffel coats, right, and uh, I recently had through my hands a duffel coat, but in white cotton canvas, so you've got a summer duffel coat, but it was quite chic and smart, so maybe, uh, I only hope that they don't go the same way as R.M. Williams and Bell Staff and these companies that once made super workwear and incredibly durable garments, and then as soon as they become a fashion company, the accountants come in and say, oh, we can make these cheaper, you know. We can use cheaper materials. I mean, Ralph Lauren, uh, they must have a rule where they just won't spend more than about $20 on any material they buy because it's very photogenic stuff, but you get a tweed suit from Ralph Lauren, uh, it's not going to last very long.